Hey, what's going on guys? Coming again the year. I got a copy of Windward Chess Variant GI from Harm from Geert Miller and this sort of a copy allows to play uh, Korean chess Jangi. But I didn't really like the initial uh, graphics for a game so I've created uh, my own themes for the game and I've created two sets one for Winboard for Windows version and another for Xboard for Linux version I'm on Linux but I can run uh, uh, the Windows version uh, a version which which is Winboard via Vine emulator and uh, I would I would demonstrate you this just right in the moment moment because uh, I believe that obviously or probably most of the users actually using Windows. Unfortunately, I personally hate this operating system for various reasons, but it's not the case now. So let's go to this uh, particular version of Winboard. Uh, I will share this version uh, as well. So there would be a link in the description below the video. And I've already configured it to actually start with the Gen G as the initial variant. So uh, all we need is just to start the app. So on Windows, this should be absolutely the same. Here, just click, just view or edit files. Click OK. And here is the end result of the applied uh, sort of a theme for pieces and for board texture. But what you can actually see if you've been using uh, Winboard previously here is what you can see actually. So we just go to themes and just go into default. And this is how it usually looks like. So in order to change this, we simply need to go to board themes. Okay. Then here, so we need to click use board textures. Uh, we can create a name for uh, for, 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 for this them okay like this and first we need to select the texture and here it is so uh, I have this folder themes for windboard here it is and I copy it for both light and dark squares and here for piece bitmaps I need to use uh, so I'm going to where it's located actually so yeah, you would be having this in in the downloads uh, after you download this, if you if you like, obviously. So here it is. So theme Winboard. This is the folder to serve as the folder for piece bitmaps. I've altered the bitmaps, and by the way, different engines using slightly bit different pieces. It seems like so. Uh, hence the. Uh, uh, images are different as well so it's for fairy stockfish it's not the same for uh, somewhat uh, an engine that is actually created by by Harm Geertmuller himself to play Jengi but anyway uh, so let's go for it and this is almost kind of it and the very last thing we need to do is just to suppress the grid and now we have this brilliant theme so uh, when you download this it should already be uh, kind of stored like this, really hope so. And now to run the engine, so load first engine. And well, I'll, I'll clean this up, just just make it now because, uh, because it's, you, you, would be, you, you would be having different paths basically. So you don't need this. So I'll just load the first engine. I don't want to add anything, so Let's start with uh, here, uh, Fairy Stockfish, the latest version. So just open this, the Windboard protocol. It supports the window, the Windboard protocol uh, from about a month or two ago, not, not just a recent update. And this should be enough. Okay, so Fairy Stockfish has been loaded. And now we can actually start playing with the engine or analyzing depending on the mode itself, it should output the move. Okay. Edge of the time control seems to be a little bit too long. Uh, yeah, a anyway, outputs the move eventually. So let's start a new game. And also let's open 
the engine too, load second engine, so windboard, and this one is the engine by Harm Müller himself, so he's now developing. It's uh, not a release yet, but it works, and you can play a game with it, which is also really cool. So, uh, well, I think the second engine should be loaded uh, again. So let's go for two machines. Oh, waiting for second second program. Okay, Jengi, open, windboard, okay. <laughs> second engine does not play this. You must be kidding. Mm. Hold on, guys. Okay, so I just made this uh, this engine, which is not Ferry Stockfish, to be the first one. And then Ferry Stockfish joins the game. So as you know, or maybe you don't know, in Gen in Jengi we uh, we can uh, swap bishop at knight and knight. So it's not obviously to be on its initial place. And here are here here is the game between two engines, and with this nice uh, traditional interface, which for me personally it's the, the one of the most essential things because. Uh, uh, actually seeing the traditional pieces seems to be like the most important thing to consider so I'm not gonna be watching this game now obviously so it's not the case really but just a proof of concept that, that it kind of works and even uh, bearing in mind the fact that both uh, versions are actually uh, the Windows version still it runs it runs perfectly well via Vine on my Linux operating system so uh, let's just drop the game okay and I close this and the last thing I want to show you and demonstrate is how the same thing works uh, on Linux for me so uh, I, I've installed export uh, uh, via sudo apt-get uh, export just a standard Debian installation I don't know how to install it on different uh, versions versions of Linux but uh, the version that I currently have is this one so it's quite pretty latest apparently yeah apparently probably so I would now like to go to where the engine itself lives so uh, on Linux I'm running this a little bit different I, I'm, I'm running this from the command line to make sure it works nicely but the idea of changing the colors is is, is very similar I just I just wanted to give you an idea that uh, the themes, uh, uh, despite the fact that uh, uh, the pieces are the same, you see, like we have the SVG and PNG for board and SVG for pieces, and the, and the names, these are the names for Linux version, and for Windows version, we have a bit different names because well, these are kind of different implementations. But anyway, uh, I just want to go to, so let's find the fairy stockfish again. And here, I just want to say export minus variant. And I want to play Gen G. It's a bit strange. Uh, it's probably not the way it it's, uh, should be Gen G, but not Jan G. But anyway, that's how uh, Windward recognizes the variant. And I want the first chess program to be uh, Fairy Stockfish. Hope Fairy Stockfish. Hope it works. Let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, it already it runs into so the same stuff basically. Okay, so it loads the Fairy Stockfish already and the board theme is changed and the variant is actually a gen -G already uh yeah, probably I, I, it's not probably even available here i believe yeah only only cnc here but you can actually play gen -G even on linux even this sort of way so just say go in here and actually the the move validation exists for this sort of a variant as well so supported but for some reason it's not really uh, highlighted like to be I don't know 
like to start a new game of this variant for some reason and if I do it without specifying the engine so it also doesn't seem to be working properly I don't know problems in something I'm not sure but anyway uh, so here, here is the stuff and let's just start a new game and let's say two machines and now it would be playing versus itself I believe yeah, it should be playing versus itself now. Yeah, time control is a bit different by default, but anyway. So, here is Ferris Stockfish playing Jangi versus itself. This is how it goes. Okay, so this is how it goes. So, I, I really think that with this sort of an interface, it's really better to... Uh, let's start a new game. It's really better to experience the game basically and again like on Linux this is very similar so let's say if here we had the board and all the same stuff so let's let's say if it just goes to the classic one so this is how it looks initially okay so to make sure that well actually um as I've been mentioning, so, so the, the pawns uh, for Fairy Stockfish uh, it uses this character in, in Windboard, but uh, another engine written by Harm Gertmiller seems to be using actually pawns. I'm not sure why that is happening actually, but so probably for uh, other engines than Fairy Stockfish, I would need to add some additional uh, files to like the same copies for pawns and the king apparently but with a slightly different name. So I'm not sure, uh, this, this would be a bit more clear when, when it comes to actually implementing, uh, uh, or, or when having another engine. So yeah, if that ever about to come, I will fix this as well. So uh, again, like, so we just go to the board and now we just use this board textures. So, uh, Nope. So the same stuff, actually. It's not really that easy to get used to this interface, but once you get used to it, it's really, it's really fun to use, I must say. Okay, so I just need to pick up the proper path. That's it. So sources. Jengi. And theme X board at the moment. So yeah, here I just specify the board. Just copy this for light and for dark squares. And the directory with the images is this one. Okay. And use external bitmaps. Okay. And one last thing I need to suppress. Uh, the grid so board us oh, is there colors oh my god I forget how I did that <laughs> to be honest uh, it's yeah it's here it's a little bit different well, uh, actually, here I, I use apparently I use CNC first. Maybe this one. Yeah, this is it. So yeah, now I got rid of uh, the initial grid, and yeah, I can actually play a game of Jan Gi now. Okay guys, so this is all I wanted to share with you at this moment. Uh, and I will probably just better create a new repository sharing this themes and the Windows uh, version of Xboard, the Winboard actually, the, the one that plays uh, Jan Gi uh, in a quite pretty stable way. Well, I really believe that Harmgert Miller would release his own version uh, with with all the bells and whistles that would be really better than 
but this one because again like this might be still a development version or something i'm not sure uh but anyway uh from now on we can actually go for writing the Jengi engine and testing it within this either windboard or Xboard gui so what i'm gonna do uh i don't promise anything but I have an idea in mind to create an engine to play Gengi. I'm going to be deriving that from my uh, CNC engine, Wukong CNC. And I would like to make it... Well, I, I could have uh, leave the JavaScript, but I really want to try this in C. It's not a big deal to port that, so... Because the code structure is really, you know, like... Uh, it allows doing that quite pretty quickly. It's the matter of couple of days no more than a couple of days really because i have all the code base already uh well the the, the only uh slight uh I, I mean converting my cnc engine from javascript uh, porting porting my cnc engine from javascript to c programming language that's the matter of oh, of a single day basically not not even a couple of days and regarding the jungi itself uh I'm quite pretty clear with uh, the piece movements, so altering the move generator shouldn't be uh, an issue, but I'm not really yet that clear with the rules, like face and canes, which means draw. So it's really probably it would be better to figure out how it works in very stockfish and then uh, use exactly the same rules so it, it would be possible to play versus fairy stockfish so yeah this is it from my side guys we'll see how it goes thanks for watching until the, uh, until the next time and take care